I welcome you all to today's class by Advanced English Language Academy. This is Yasin, your English language instructor. So in our previous class, we talked about the parts of sentence. We talked about subject, we talked about object, we talked about complement. So if you have any problem and you are watching this video for the first time from our channel, so please go back to our video section and you will find that the previous video was about subject object and complement but uh, if, if you're watching this video for the first time from our channel so let's uh, I just I'll just give a little touch to uh, these topics and just a slight touch but if you want to go in details if you want to learn with details so please go to our video section so subject is actually the part of a sentence or class about which something is said we also stated that uh, subject is not a doer of an action. We've mentioned here that books are good friends. So books is the subject because about books something has been said, are good friends, okay? So subject is not a doer of an action. We also said that I play cricket, though when we say I play cricket, so I is uh, the doer of an action but, but we don't call I a subject because it is the doer of an action we call I the subject because about I something has been said play cricket has been said then we talked about object that object is the receiver of the action it receives the action for example I, cur I play so I play what I play cricket so cricket answers verb okay it uh, answers verb it is the receiver of the action because for example I eat apple so I am the performer of the action eating is my action and object is apples because apples receive my action we compared complement with uh, object and we stated that object answers verb while complement gives information about noun or pronoun so let's talk about sentence remember one thing that when we talk about sentence so you should bring sense into your mind now what is human sense human sense is when someone uses a group of words and those words make a human sense for example I'm talking to you so I just use a group of words and you understand what I mean for example if I say I play cricket so you understand what I want to say if there is subject there is a predicate so you will understand that that what is the what, what I want to say for example I am taking class I am making a video now so when I use that group of words so and automatically you will understand what I mean because I am using a group of words that makes a human sense for example we are all human beings so we understand for example someone says something so we understand that that is a sentence so remember that uh, when we use a group of words and they make a human sense so it is a sentence but phrase now phrase is a group of words that doesn't make complete sense for example we just simply say in the kitchen in the kitchen so you will ask what the, what in the kitchen yeah if there is a mutual understanding between me and you between for example we just talk about something where is my pen and I say in the kitchen so actually in the kitchen is the answer but when you ask the question where is my pen so you asked about a certain thing and I just gave you a short answer and I said in the kitchen so there is mutual understanding because you are talking about the pin and I know about the pin so there is mutual understanding so in that case phrase can be the answer of a question but grammatically when you uh, use in the kitchen or you say after evening so these kinds of words so th they don't make a complete sense these words or this group of words doesn't make a complete sense so when it doesn't make a complete sense it is called a phrase but when there is a complete sense like for example we make a sentence we just put subject and we also use predicate so in predicate there must be a verb so when there is a verb so it will make a complete sense because subject will be there and verb will be there so when we use subject and verb so we will 
we will make a complete sense. So that is called phrase. Now what's the difference between sentence and clause? So we are going to make another video on this topic. Thanks a lot. Wish you all the best. See you tomorrow.